What's up guys? First day out with the Z1, literally the first time I'm ever using it. You know, so we're gonna use it here at my small commercial property. Having a couple little issues with it. Uh, really just one main issue, which I'll discuss in this video here in a couple minutes, but an update on the FuelWorks gas cans. I still love them. I've had them almost a full year. They're awesome. I would highly recommend FuelWorks gas cans, just FYI. Check this out. A huge shout out to Frankie L. The subscriber, they wrote, hey, check this uh, relay in your truck. This That was in reference to my last video. I think it was my last video. It may have been video before. I think it was my last video. And I had a, you know, my starter, you know, still kind of clicking, you know, sometimes. And I'd have to retry the key couple times sometimes you know for it to even start even though I got a new starter new alternator new battery um, in my truck so I checked that relay and it it was in there but it was in there a little bit different direction than the rest of the relays meaning like the shape of it like was facing the other way and it was in there a little crooked you know so I don't know if when they installed it, it looked I mean the you know the fuse box is all looks all fresh and new doesn't look like it's hardly ever been messed with um but whenever they worked on it last or whatever uh you know i don't know so what i did is i took it out and put it the same direction as the other relays in the fuse box and and i put it in there nice and straight and this is now saturday hang on a second Got it dirty. Ah. What? Doing a great job. This is now Saturday, and uh, I did all that on Tuesday when I was I was fueling it up the other day while I was fueling up I was went and checked all that and as of Saturday morning early right now 5 a.m. 5 30 whatever I have not had that clicking issue again um, so I don't know 100% if that fixed the problem yet you know we'll have to wait a little more time to see but man just a huge shout out to Frank Yell because that was a that is a great tip and that might have fixed my truck um, that's just amazing it's amazing what what my subscribers on here help me with I mean all the time you guys just help me with uh, so many so many things um, that you know is crazy um, so anyway this is like a steep it's hard you can't tell on the GoPro but it's like a steep little bank right here um, you can tell a little bit right there we're just mowing it up baby mowing it up baby uh, so we're just mowing up this house um, this is the same house in the backyard here. It's got a few different random little grass pieces. There's another piece down by the lake too, which I don't know if I got video of it. Uh, trim up those shrubs. Kind of a rough little lawn here, but hey, you know, it's no problem. I like the, the homeowners are great people and uh, works out. A little weed eating footage. Um, really glad to have my Husqvarna back. I got that throttle cable put on it again for the second time. I, uh, I might try to show y'all how I put it on there just so you would know. Um, cause I, I would like to, my channel, I would like to anything that I own and any maintenance and things I have to do with it. I would like it if y'all could see how I did it and what I did. Because y'all helped me with a lot of stuff, and maybe you know I could show you what went wrong with mine. That way, you ever have a problem with it. But I actually switched it at like 5:30 the mor in the morning when I was getting ready to vlog this video, and the camera was charging up. So, so, so I couldn't, uh, you know, show it. But maybe I could still reenact it and show it. But yeah. So, man, I don't know why, but even in any. All the, I watch a lot of lawn care YouTube videos, a lot of you guys' videos, but something about it, I love watching time-lapse mowing footage, no matter what mower it is or whatever. I don't know why. Like, you know, 
I probably like watching myself the least amount, but, <laughs> but like literally, I don't know, something about it, like, like this, time lapse, it's on this hill, um, I don't know, I could just watch it forever. <laughs> the standard man, it does, doing pretty good on this hill, um, this hill's pretty steep, like I said, it's, uh, little worse than it looks on here because this camera's kind of close to the ground but um you know uh it's it's doing pretty good it's doing pretty good um now the issue the issue that i'm having with this and you'll see it um here in a minute after this clip uh but i the issue that i'm having with the mower is there's some shavings on top of the deck and after I had done mow with it for, you know, three, four lawns, I could tell that there was shavings on top of the deck. And then I checked my fingers in the pulleys, and they're rough in there. They're rough. And so I guess what happened, see what happened, see what happened was, <laughs> see what happened was, see I think because this mower, like he just, every day he would drive it out, park it in front of the shop, you know, in front of the, a little dealership and a great dealership by the way shout out to uh jasper county small engines great great guy um so uh they park it out there every day you know for whatever year or whatever that's been sitting there and so the pulleys just got pitted and so they're pitted now and if y'all don't know what that means they just rust on the inside and they get rough and that surface isn't perfectly smooth and they rust and they tearing up the deck a little i mean not the deck the uh the belt a little bit so that's a bummer man so so y'all stay tuned because i'm a video what what happens with that um see i'm here at the next yard so i'm a video you know we're gonna go down to the dealership and see what we can do about that see look at all this look at all the uh, black on the deck i didn't know if that was just sh some random shavings that i didn't that was already there from the shop or something so i blew it out and cleaned it out and then mowed another two three yards with it you know to, to really you know to see if it was really happening or not and as you can see on that belt it's kind of wearing right there you see there's kind of like a line you know that it shouldn't it, it should be just like smooth kevlar and it's wearing off the kevlar so um yeah not good but not a huge deal but you know on one hand but something we definitely got to address so you know, I got appointment set up for Monday morning, which is going to mess up my route a little bit, but I'll try to, uh, you know, let y'all know what, uh, what's happens with it. And, uh, but, oh, sorry guys, it's super early, super early. I'm trying to even, you know, <laughs> gather up my train of thoughts here, but it's the only time I can do these voiceovers if, if, if I'm not mowing a lawn, all right, or if I don't have my <laughs> son river with me or my daughter or whatever um you know because i'm just really busy right now i've been man customer for whatever reason halloween customers been wanting pie straw landscaping stuff and so man we've been busy y'all check out this half pipe man darn i had one of the, you know we had one of these me and my dad and my brother built one of these when we were younger as y'all know he used to be deep into uh, skateboarding so customer just built this they ordered the kit online you see oc ramps or whatever 